Well, there is a place here in Indy that can really bring out the kid in you. John Duran is live talking about the place called the Toy Pit and how a lot of people are, you know, it's kind of taking it back to their childhood. John, I can't wait to see this story. Yeah, it certainly brought me back. Started in Fort Wayne back in 2009, eight years ago, moved to Indy. And just this last week, they moved to an even bigger space to house an even bigger collection. But if you walk inside, you're sure to recognize some toys you've played with growing up, especially if you grew up in the 70s, 80s, or 90s. A lot of the people that grew up from like the 70s, the 80s and up, this is a holy grail. The Wonder Bread He-Man. They're collecting the things that were important to them growing up. Toys, games, and anything that might remind you of your childhood. And this is the original Optimus Prime. It's been open, but it's 100% complete. Buy it, sell it, or trade it. It's like a treasure hunt. It's like, you know, Christmas every day. Or just check out all the Toy Pit has to offer. Well, the biggest thing that we have are like action figures, uh, a lot of pop culture memorabilia. Uh, everything that we do is mostly like modern 70s and up pop culture related. Star Wars, Marvel, DC, G.I. Joe, wrestling. We'll do old video games. 13 years ago, this was just a hobby. Sometimes I wonder how how it happened, but uh, just kind of took off over time and got to a point where uh, I was able to do it full time and just kind of just kept rolling with it. Now it's a business that's picking up steam. We have a term we use, our youth. But inside, you never feel grown up. We'll see something come in and, and we'll say, man, that's my youth, you know? Or like, man, that's the formative years right there, you know? I remember getting that when I was a kid. And every week brings a new surprise. You never know what someone's gonna come in. It's kind of like Pawn Stars, American Pickers. It's kind of like that every day. And it's part of the fun, it's part of the dig. So clean out your attic and see what that old action figure is worth. I think people also have fun coming in, bringing things in, kind of seeing what things are worth to, to sell to us and everything. That's a big part of what we do here. That's a big part of the business. Yeah, they've had some really notable customers as well, online but not in the shop. Uh, Mark Hamill of Star Wars, the Luke Skywalker has shopped there. SNL's Bobby Moynihan has shopped there. <laughs> And then in person, uh, WWE Hall of Famer Mick Foley's been there. And eight, if you love uh, love Power Rangers like I did growing up, eight Power Rangers have been there, including just this past weekend, the original Black Ranger, Zach, was there signing autographs. So some really, really cool stuff to check out there. And hey, you might even see a Power Ranger if you stop by. That's 